a classic Magic City classic. One that fans will remember for a very, very, very long time. What a game that was. Now we go down to Bourbon Street, New Orleans, Louisiana, the Big Easy. You know what that means. It's time for the Bayou Classic, the Southern Jaguars and the Grambling State Tigers. Both teams coming in with losing records, but at this point, the records don't matter. All that matters is who gets the bragging rights for the next 365 days. There goes Wilson finding a King Russell downfield. Second and 10, the handoff, Kenny Gaston up the gut. That's a nice power run right there by Kenny Gaston. Anthony Robinson's down, but he'll be back. A third and fourth situation. There goes the hand up to Kenny Gaston. Breaks a tackle and gets tackled at the one yard line. That drive resulted into a field goal for Southern. It's three nothing Jaguars. Now look at Jeremy Moore. Looking deep and he finds his wide receiver that's caught. What a catch there. Second and 10 at the Jaguar 34. Jeremy Moore tucks it in and run. Breaks a tackle. Gets tackled inside the red zone at the 18 yard line. What a run that was by Jeremy Moore. Then they handed off the long, long up the gut and tackled inside the 10 yard line. They're knocking on the door. First and goal, Jeremy Moore pops it. It's caught, touchdown Grambling. What a catch in traffic. And that gives the Grambling Tigers a 7-3 lead. So here goes Andrew Wilson once more. This time it's intercepted. We're going back the other way. Inside the 10, Andriano makes an excellent read on that play so jeremy moore finds his half back in the flat and he goes into the end zone for another grambling state touchdown 14 to 3 tigers are up andrew wilson once again gets hit as he throws and that pass is tilted and eventually intercepted the grambling state defense this time is Diggs, his second career interception so the Grambling State Tigers got the ball once again, and this time it stripped a fumble. The defense recovers. The Southern defense is straight hating after that turnover. They've had enough. They're losing. Eventually that will lead to, to a 14-6 game now. And now Grambling have the ball on offense. Jamie Moore on the play fake. Pops it deep, and that's caught. What a catch. Touchdown. Look at that catch. Wow. So now Grambling's back on offense once again. It's 21 to 6. Oh, look at that move right there. There goes Long going up the left side. Tackling inside the 30-yard line of the Jaguars. Now eventually Southern will stop that drive. And then Grambling will stop them on their next drive. So now here goes the kickoff. And there goes the return. Oh, my gosh. Richardson just got destroyed. Brian Patton just took Patterson and broke him into 100 pieces. He should be charged for the assault. Third and 11. Andrew Wilson pops it deep downfield. They're losing by 15. And that pass is intercepted. It's Diggs again on the interception. Second and 10. Grand fam. There goes Jeremy Moore popping. And that's picked off. And that's going back for a pick six. That is exactly what Southern needed. Williams with a great play right there. No relation to Arneas Williams, the Hall of Famer and former Southern Jaguar. Fourth and two, 21 to 12. They get the end around the half of the tight end. He breaks a tackle, he goes up the right side. He's inside the 10, he's tackled at the five yard line. What a play call and what great execution. Second and goal, the big fullback, touchdown. Graham Bam, 28 to 12. The Grambling State Tigers are now in the driver's seat to have the bragging rights. Even though we're supposed to be in New Orleans. Two point conversion. Play fake. Jeremy Moore pops it to the right side. That pass is caught in the end zone by Harper. What a catch. What a play. So now it's 29 to 12. They just look, take that bet. That's Andrew Wilson popping in again. And that's intercepted once again. Another pick on Andrew Wilson. What a disaster of a game it is for him. What a disaster of a season it's been for Andrew Wilson. And there goes Long, putting the exclamation point on the game. Touchdown, Grambling State Tigers, 35 to 12. Grambling State took over this game, and they needed this win considering how bad they looked in this series, and that pass is intercepted. Andrew Wilson gets picked off once again. Five turnovers for this Southern offense. And the Grambling State Tigers take the Bayou Classic 36 to 12.
What a nightmare game for Andrew Wilson and what a hell of a performance by the Grand fam. They now improved the four and five. So now we go up to the DMV, Washington DC, the Howard Bison, take on the Tennessee State Tigers and Rodney Starks finds his target, Quentin Baker going into the end zone, touchdown, Tennessee State Tigers up seven to nothing, just like that. So now here goes Howard, they're back on offense. The quarterback pops it. This time, that's a good catch. He goes up the left side, and he takes it all the way to the crib. A touchdown for the Howard Bison as he high steps like Dion. Second and nine. Howard's back on offense once again. This time, it's a quarterback draw. He gets hit, and he fumbles the ball. He dropped it on the turf. But who recovered it? Looks like Tennessee State did. Yes, they did. The Tennessee State defense stands tall. It's a second and 10 situation now. Howard once again on offense, and that's picked off. There he goes, Greg Zippahaw. His first interception of the day. Third and one situation now. Rodney starts on offense. Rodney starts, play fake. He pops it deep for Tom Smith, and that's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee State. The greatest hands in NCAA history coming up big. A third and 10 situation for Howard. Quarterback has nowhere to throw. He throws it off his back foot, and that's going back for a pick six. The Tennessee State defense did it again. Looking like Dion from back in the Florida State days. Looking like Charles Wilson from back in the Michigan days. Howard on offense again. The quarterback pops it. It's picked off again. Greg Zipperhaw, his second pick of the day. The Tennessee State defense comes tall once again. A third and three situation. Tennessee State back on offense. The hand off the little, that's a first down. First and goal to be more precise. They didn't do nothing with that though, but get a field goal, so it's 27 to seven, and that pass is picked off. Greg Zipperhaw, his third pick of the game. Almost went back for a pick six, but Howard took him down. So Howard, once again, they're back on offense. They made a substitute at the quarterback position, and that pass is caught, and he's going in for a touchdown. 89 is a beast. I got to find out who that is. A third down situation for the, for the Tigers. This time it's caught by Tom Smith. He makes a man miss. He gets tackled inside the 30 yard line. What a play there by Tom Smith. Second and 10 at the 11. Little going up the left side. Touchdown, Tennessee State Tigers. TSU was up 37 to 13. So now Howard is forced to punt and waiting forward is Tom Smith. He hauls it in inside the 48 yard line. He takes it up the right side and he's gone. Touchdown, ball game. Tennessee State prevail 44 to 14. What a performance it was for the Tennessee State Tigers and they badly needed this game. They're four and five on the season, two games away from being bowl eligible. So we win the Magic City Classic. Texas Southern beat Bethune Cookman in overtime. Mississippi Valley State beat Alcorn State. Arkansas Power Bluff beat Prairie View A&M 17-12. You saw Grambling State win the Bayou Classic 36-12. And then Jackson State lose to Florida A&M 49-30. Wow, 1-7. Dang, Jackson State. Meanwhile, over there at the MEAC, Morgan State beat Norfolk State. Let's see, that looks like Delaware State beating South Carolina State. North Carolina A&T took care of Hampton, 31-24. North Carolina a and is one game away from bowl eligibility. Wow. And then finally, you saw Tennessee State beat Howard. And now for some good news. Because of that big win, we got four commits from one weekend. Henry Ortiz is coming to Alabama State. 6'9", 235 pounds, a balanced tight end, poor potential, Average discipline, uh, A plus hands, C plus field awareness. I'm not really worried about the pull potential, but I am okay with the average discipline. Joe McCowan, or McCowan, I should say, from Florida, 4640, C plus field awareness, average discipline, pull potential. We could bring out the potential in these cats. I'm not worried about that. Sheldon Green. Poor potential and poor discipline. This is something we had to do to get some depth at the wide receiver position. The way Tim Brown's looking, he might leave after this season. Daniel Hayes, 
from Jacksonville, Alabama. Average potential, average discipline. This is a big get. Now we're deep at middle linebacker, but I'm going to start moving people around. Gene Speedy Singleton wins National Player of the Week. Over 300 yards rushing and four touchdowns. Ben Morgan wins Sweat Defense Player of the Week, and how could he not? 13 tackles, five for loss, two sacks, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. It don't get no better than that for a defensive player. Eric Hubbard of Morgan State and Lee Heath of Delaware State win Offensive and Defensive Players of the Week in the MEAC. Dang, Eric Hubbard went off too. So join us next time. We got Jackson State, a one and seven Jackson State. And we're number one in the country once again for another week. Peace.